Um, Magnus kept Wesley waiting. Now Wesley's keeping Magnus waiting. We do have the first move on the board, though. Wesley opens with his King's Pawn. Mm -hmm. In the last final, back in February, when these two met, Wesley had a lot of success with his King's Pawn. He, he did. openings he had recommended on a chessable course. But meanwhile, Magnus opening with his King's Pawn as well in reply. Will we see Wesley do something we've seen him play before? Does he have a surprise Ooh, in store for Magnus? Well, this is already a move that he recommended in his own chessable course. And uh, now, if the Queen's pawn moves two squares, that is his course recommendation. So uh, this is going to be fascinating stuff. Yeah, first time round. So this is the Italian game. It's a very direct way of playing the Italian game. But first time round, a few months ago, Wesley won this position against Magnus Carlsen. I do think Magnus won't be surprised this time round. However, Magnus will have done his homework. White has an extra central pawn right now, but Black is ahead in development. Black has castled his king. So this is well-known stuff. White tends to be uh, just trying to clamp down, gain space in the center, keep that as long as possible. Black will try and counterattack. At this point, because they have faced each other in this opening before. He... Okay, but now hmm. he's made a change. Okay, but he shook his head when he did that. Looking a bit distracted there, Wesley. So I've got two or three sensible moves here. Let's just work it out. And mm -hmm. it's, there we go. Magnus does retreat his bishop. So he spent quite a long time there and playing the most common move. White bringing the queen to the left side. And now I think the best move here for black is actually to bring his knight to the side of the board to attack that white queen. And this is something I've had myself. Okay, he retreats with the knight, white castling his king. Okay, so just a normal game now. It's all going to slow down and become about manoeuvring. I do slightly prefer White's chances, and the evaluation bar slightly prefers White's chances because White occupies the center with more pawns. White has more space. Because this is the main move, and uh, there you can see it. And now here, the most principal move is actually to undermine the head of White's pawn chain. Oh, we Magnus. have a move. Wow, he does come up with a very odd move after that huge think by Magnus. Now, more than 10 minutes behind on the clock, he just brings his rook across one square. That rook is blocked in on that line. It does defend a pawn, meaning that Black's bishop, Black's dark square bishop, is free to move. White's queen will no longer attack pawns on that B line. But that's a purely defensive move. And if White brings the knight to the edge of the board, which he has done, you predicted the future, <laughs> Yvanka. White's knight eyeing up this bishop, at least Magnus now, he has the opportunity to just move that bishop away from the attack. He can retreat that bishop. You can also maybe find a more active square. Uh, okay, he does retreat the bishop to safety. And now, wow, look at these. We say knights on the rim are dim, but look at these two knights, both of them finding the edge of the board. Um, yeah, knights on the side, we do not abide. Magnus has to come up with something to save it now, and he tries to save it by pushing his pawn forward. So if white attacks the knight, the knight at least has somewhere to run back to. The knight would be protected on that square by a pawn. Perfect. Look at Wesley's air quality. That is perfect air quality right now. Uh, CO2 levels, you're going to see temperature, everything. Great for Wesley. Maybe black can even get away with this, but no, Magnus doesn't want to allow this, and instead wants to counterattack. He allows that to happen in the center, now counterattacking counter against white's knight on the edge of the board. Meanwhile, white's knight that was attacked on the other side of the board, we did mention one of the top um, top options for Wesley. So let's just, just simply remove that knight from the fire of black's pawn. We seek clarification. And uh, there we see that Magnus has chosen that move. And I'm expecting him to capture, I think, with the queen, mm -hmm. is what I'm going to say. Okay, oh, he... OK, he throws in a little bit of a intermediate move. Um, pawn takes pawn, attacking the knight. We actually have a word for this in... Uh, chess talk. The other move the computer suggests will not happen. Wow. Okay, I was going to say Magnus will not bring his bishop to this square, but he brings his bishop to this one instead. Magnus Carlsen coming up with a really creative move there. See these stats. Every player, every person is different, right, in their home office. And Okay, meanwhile, Wesley does capture that knight with his pawn, as expected. And Magnus ticking down on can, his clock. I can see, Kaya, you got, you've got seen a result yep. in the other game. <laughs> That's correct. After 35 seconds, game three between Jan Pomniac and Timur Ajabo was finished with a draw. So they have now played three games, all draws. What do you guys expect from the fourth one? Well, I hear something. <laughs> I, I know what I'm... <laughs> well, I don't bet, but I know what I would put my, my money on. Meanwhile, there has been a lot of action. Magnus Carlsen did bring his queen up to attack, to threaten checkmate, as we predicted in a different scenario. And that was blocked. White's bishop now blocking, and the black queen having to sidestep. White has captured one of black's bishops. So suddenly, if we do a count, material is still level 
material on the board is still equal, but it's opposite color bishops. Black has a very, very strong bishop in white's half of the board. Yeah, I, white's bishop attacked, had to step back, attacking black's queen. You yeah. do like this transition for who do you prefer in this uh, position after all those trades? Personally, I would, yeah, I would just take that bishop off as he has done. That bishop was just too well yeah. placed. And I'm curious now how he will react. And uh, well, he he is a super grandmaster for a reason. And there he just calmly walks his queen one square forward. Would not have dreamt of that move at yeah. all. I mean, to me, it's just like it removes the connection from the queen getting to the right. It's highly surprising, right, that Wesley has pushed his queen up there. He's going after Black's pawns on that left side, but Magnus, he's giving up his pawns. Look at the Black rooks now and the Black queen. They're all lined up together. It's looking like there's going to be some threats. You mentioned earlier, Ivanka, that Black's threats might take through Whoa, a Whoa, now but... there's a big threat. Whoa, like what's happening with the bar? Knight coming in. I mean, is yeah. there a threat to, um, sorry, knight... Which square? To... Um, to the centre, okay, let's, just to sacrifice itself. Yeah, let's actually let's bring up the analysis board because suddenly it does look like Wesley So's underestimated Black's attack. Uh, if, yeah, let's keep an eye on the players. They, he might react soon, Wesley So If he gets greedy and takes this pawn, which must have been his intention, then Black's knight would jump in to this square, threatening checkmate, and after pawn takes knight, suddenly the queen takes. White's king is just under heavy fire. When the king moves, Black's rooks are going to enter the position next turn. So Wesley tried to stop that. He tried to defend that square, and now the pawn is coming. Uh, whoops. Instead of queen takes pawn, sorry, Wesley did bring his rook across, and now look at this. Magnus just so calm. OK, so we do have a move. He's advanced his pawn, so the, I mean, what's his response if uh, Black were to just to push one square further? Yeah, we will see Magnus push his pawn one square further just to loosen up White's king uh, shelter even more. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this is, we've said in the past, it is kind of alpha zero influenced by AI, uh, this type of idea with black, but it's just good chess. It's just pushing a pawn, weakening your opponent's king, using the pawn as a battering ram. Now, Wesley so takes a pawn, but that pawn looks irrelevant. White's queen is just not joining the action. Oh, we got an explosive move, David. We have wow. a tactic on the board. Magnus is willing to sacrifice a knight just to open up the white king position it's not just and, it's, and it's going to be checkmate oh we, oh, we, we have to <gasps> show this mate yeah we will go back and yeah. show this actually magnus was ready to sacrifice his queen um if something different had happened there but okay wesley trying to trade off a set of rooks but that's not going to help him magnus pushing a pawn white's rook has to move and then it's just going to be checkmate wesley so he's either losing a rook or he's getting checkmated <gasps> he just resigns wow what a dramatic start to the final magnus carlson almost getting a checkmate here and winning the first game with the black pieces.